Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and in this video I'm going to be answering the question that we get a lot, how to know which own load to use. So that's what we're going to get into in this video. But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, so let's get into this. It's gonna be a quick video because it's gonna kind of be in correlation with a video that I've done before on how to wire subwoofers. So people need to know this because if you don't know, one, what ohm load your amplifier is rated at, and two, how to get that ohm load for your amplifier, most amplifiers that we sell here at Down for Sound are rated and warranted at one ohm. So I've been in car audio for a decent amount of time, so I know if I have a single sub and I have like a dual two, you can wire that to a one ohm load. Again, this, we're gonna tie in the video at the end of this and show you how to wire subs and everything like that, but once you do this for a little while, you start knowing these things on what ohm load that you're gonna be able to get for your amplifier. So what could happen if you get the incorrect ohm load is say like this, for instance, we'll use this. This is an audio uh, classic. Yeah, it's a classic series. So this, this subwoofer, they come in tens and twelves and they also come in dual twos or dual fours. So if you're doing, say we're doing a single subwoofer setup and you didn't know like really what you were doing and you're like, oh, I'll just pick whichever subwoofer, the, say you pick the dual four. Your friend has the same exact subwoofer and you want the same setup he has and you get yours in and it's not near as loud as his. So you're like, what's going on with my setup? So you you got the dual four, he got the dual two. You have the same amplifier, say you're running it on a JP8. So the JP8 is gonna give you 12 to 1300 watts at one ohm, but at two ohm, it's gonna give you seven or 800 watts, somewhere in there. So you're gonna have a lot less power going to the subwoofer because of the ohm load that you are like running the subwoofer and, and amplifier combo at. So that's why it's very important for you to pick like do your homework or if you don't know you can always give us a call at 702-701-9800 or send us a message on one of our social media pages and we'll try to answer that for you but again all this information is on the internet we've done tons of videos on it so it would only take a quick search on youtube or um, the internet to figure out how to get what on load with different on load subwoofers so that's just an example for your single subwoofer uh, it applies with having two subs four subs ten subs whatever it's going to apply there and that's why it's important so you don't get less performance or you end up blowing an amplifier because you wire it too low because if you wire the, the almost too low it can potentially harm the amplifier because it can't deal with the added stress of the decreased ohm load. The lower the ohm load, usually it puts out more power if it's able to, but a lot of times you can blow up an amplifier if it's not really made to do that, or it'll go into protect if you're lucky, and it'll come back out when you reset it. If you're not lucky, it'll go into protect and it won't come back out. So anyway, uh, we're gonna tie in the how to wire uh, the subwoofer videos. I have one video that we talk about how to wire a single sub, and then I have another video that talks about how to wire two subs. It, it, I draw it out on paper and make it as elementary as possible so people can understand it and make sure they're hooking up their systems properly. I know I made this a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but hopefully this information has found you well and I hope that it helps you in getting the most out of your system and, and buying the correct stuff for your system. But anyway, thank you for your support at downforsoundshop.com and we will see you in the next one. Later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the life of price and also down for sound shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.